Hi. Hi, Rachel. I'm well, thank you. I'm very good. How are you doing? I'm fantastic. Thank you so much for asking. We'll get right into it. So Sylvie or Lady Loki, she's kind of a mystery. How would you explain her? Oh, well, Sylvie is, I mean, she's angry. <laughs> she's like this <laughs> chaotic ball of sort of mischief and anger. And she's on a mission. She's on a mission to do something and she's not going to let anyone stand in her way. And um, there are similarities with Loki, but she's, she's our own woman and she's, yeah, she's Sylvie. <laughs> okay. So you went right into my next question. Cause I was going to say oh. she is very super focused on her mission, but she's very tight lipped about it between the two of us. Like what exactly is her mission? <laughs> between the two of us. I like your style, Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, you'll probably just have to keep watching to find out and it won't be long before you figure out why you know what exactly that is but um yeah she's she's laser focused and she's you know she's been waiting a long time to sort of mm -hmm. to be to be on this to be on this mission and uh, I don't think she quite imagined it would turn out the way it's turning out <laughs> so <laughs> I love keep watching <laughs> I love you know I thought I'd try I thought I'd try but I I, I totally get it keep watching this is the best tease ever so you you are is it well I guess I should say how much fun is it for you going head to head with Tom I mean he's got to keep you on your toes yeah literally he's I mean it's so much fun but the man's got so much energy he's like physically <laughs> running rings around like he runs before before like a big energetic take he will run he'll go for a run to get his energy up and to get like his adrenaline going and he brings all of that energy into the scene and you know at first he'd be like so come on come for a run with me you're like, like I don't run <laughs> I'll try but I don't run and then I'd be like trying to keep up with him and it's impossible so I just you know have another donut and um and, and give up <laughs> like I would be exhausted after running how does that keep that that's I mean good for for Tom maybe I'll try it I've never done that before but he's just I one of these people it. that like gets energy from energy he's just it's got <laughs> so much and he puts so much into it he's you know he just throws everything he has at this character and this show I think that's why it's been such a successful character because he's been doing that for 10 years he's thrown everything at Loki and it's you know it shows people love him so we know you're not running but how much preparation <laughs> did you have to do for all those fight scenes because you have some serious sword skills well, you know, I did actually start running recently and it's Tom's fault that I've actually started enjoying it after this whole experience. Um, we started prepping really early. I think it was January 2020. First thing we did was, you know, get into the stunt gym and we start, you know, yeah, um, boxing training, sword drills, just like working out, trying to get fit. I just had a baby. So, you know, I had a lot of work to do. <laughs> um, thank you. Um, and so yeah we, we we put a lot into it and um it was actually one of one of the great experiences of this whole thing was just to work with such fantastic people and you know do these things that I would never usually be doing is learning how to box or you know get physically strong like that it was a great opportunity and I really loved it I always say I feel like if if I was an, an actress you know I at it'd be amazing to have um, a, a role where I could, you know, do what I love, my passion, but then get physically fit at the same time. I mean, it's the yeah. best of both worlds. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, you're like getting paid to get fit. And I mean, it was, yeah, it's something very, very I'm grateful. A lucky girl. <laughs> now, however, things have gone really bad and I need to start again. No, no, no I won't let you do that to yourself. You look fantastic. <laughs> Um, I believe it was at the at the end of this week's episode, there was this crazy action scene, like the planet is literally exploding everywhere. What was it? What was the experience like shooting that? How long did that take? And um, were you able to get through all that with like without any bumps and bruises? Was it the one where we were running around and like this thing's exploding and it's all at night? That one. Yeah, that was great to shoot. I loved shooting that scene. Probably my favorite scene to shoot actually it was all night shoots which is challenging in its own way because yeah. um you know it's it's night time and you're exhausted um uh and it was challenging because we wanted it to look like one take but it was like lots of little 
uh, stitch it, uh, lots of little scenes stitched together secretly. Um, yeah, it was just amazing. The set was great. Tom would get food trucks every night, like a different food truck to keep us all um, happy. Uh, and that worked because I think we had these incredible sesame fries that I still think about sometimes. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> so it was just a really fun experience yeah and I think it looks great watching it back like oh we did that that's so cool and then you add the sesame fries to it it's like behind the scenes oh, so, so good as well <laughs> now although you can't really trust anything that these two say to each other um <laughs> you know I'm you're smart you. that you figured that yeah <laughs> you and Loki had a heart to heart moment and Loki was revealing that he's sexually fluid. And it was this really beautifully played scene. that's really gotten a lot of attention. Were you surprised by the fan reaction and all the buzz? Um, yeah, I was, I didn't realize quite how much of a, a buzz that'd be. I didn't realize how, how great the fan reaction would be to the whole show though. The whole thing is quite overwhelming for me. You know, I'm quite new, I'm quite new, to, I'm completely new to this MCU world. And I knew that, you know, the fandom was a big, strong one, but it's still yeah. quite, you know, um, amazing and overwhelming for me to see so we knew that that scene was going to be important and we knew that the representation um, was super important to get out there. Um, and Kate was really hot on making sure we did that in this series because, you know, people have been waiting for it for a long time. And um, it's it's important that it's out there and that Loki's out. Um, I just didn't realize quite how engaged people would be and how huge it would be. But it's been, um, it's been fantastic to watch. Yeah, no, it's a big moment. And just like the representation of it all, and especially like then you add the MCU. No, it's, it's really a, a big moment. Uh, for the universe. Uh, last question I will ask you, what would you like to see next for Sylvie? Like, would you like to see her jump in maybe into the, the movie universe? I have no idea. I mean, I'm just like along for the ride. I'm enjoying today. I'm enjoying this moment. I'm enjoying talking to you. Whatever happens next is just like bonus, isn't it? Because it's already, this is already unreal and unbelievable and I'm super grateful. So I have no idea what they've got in store, but I'm, you know, I'm here for it. <laughs> That's the thing about the MCU though. You never know. You never know. Never Go away from right back. You know, but anyways, it'll be so fun to see what you do next. Uh, congratulations Thank on all of this and the success with Loki. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.